Limo, our next guest is uh, one of Australia's most successful authors. He's been published in over 20 languages. He's sold over 5 million books worldwide, 3 million of them here in Australia. Mm. He's what everyone would hope to be if they wanted to be a writer. I'm talking about a man who self-published his first book, then went mad from there, <laughs> and he's got a new one out, The Great Zoo of China, Matthew Riley. Oh, Hello. Matthew, good morning. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, good. Do you, do you have to pinch yourself when you hear that? Five, I mean, five million books is remarkable. It, it's, um, it's funny how the numbers start racking up and you, yeah. you, you start once you get to a million you think you're doing pretty well but five is sort of out out of this world do you as a former accountant do you hear five million and think i've got to ring my accountant and make sure i've got the money for all of those <laughs> <laughs> i i uh, when i it's funny i go to schools occasionally and and school kids are great because they just ask the questions everybody really wants to ask yes. and, yeah and they say five million books how much money do you make yeah. per book? <laughs> and what do you say? And what do you say in answer to that question? I, 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 yeah. I answer, with, with school kids, you've got to be honest, and mm. I say, it's about two bucks a book. So you know, About two I, bucks a book? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There That's you interesting, go. isn't it? Where Because, I mean, what, what do people pay, 30 bucks for a book, 20 bucks yeah. for a book? Yeah, about that. Yeah, so you, you lose million, a lot along the way, don't you? Five million times two. Okay, I've done the math. <laughs> uh, so how is your hey. new Lamborghini? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to say to you, though, Matthew, I love the way you started because as a young man, and you were mm. really young, because funny enough, I remember interviewing you many years yes. ago, um, you couldn't get a book published contest, mm. so you went out, published it yourself, put it in a book. It was in a bookshop, and is it true that it was discovered by a publisher? Went, this is really good. This kid's got talent. Ice Station mm-hmm. was the first. It was Ice Station. That's right. That's right. Sorry. And I, I was discovered. Uh, the first book I wrote was rejected by everybody. I took it in my beat up old Toyota Celica, yeah. and it was found in a bookstore. So, I, I, it's one of those great things that success wasn't something that came easily. It, mm. it came after a lot of sort of rejection and hard work. Would mm. have you, had that not happened, would have you kept writing books waiting for someone to pick them up? Yes. Yeah, so you were um, determined yeah. to be an author. I, I was. Yeah. I was. And people have asked me, where do you think you'd be now if you hadn't been found? Mm. So I reckon I'd be exactly here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. found another way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You'd be still writing books. Was Ice Station your first? Uh, contest was the very first one. That was the guy fighting aliens in the New York Public Library. Yeah, good yeah. place. You know, that, it's the, <laughs> oh, that, old, that old tale. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's often up there with with Wuthering Heights and, yeah. you know, uh, and Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. Uh, and then Ice Station was the second one, and that was the one which really catapulted me around the that world. That was a great, a great yeah. book. And I read your recent one, Tournament, as well. Um, yeah. And it's uh, <laughs> The Great Zoo of China. Now, uh, what is this about, please? The Great Zoo of China is the book that will ban me from ever going to China ever again. <laughs> uh, the Chinese have... Um, They've built the greatest zoo in history, and they have dragons in the zoo. Oh. And these are not your fairy tale dragons. These oh. are lean, mean, Fighting reptilian, machine. and they may be a lot smarter than the Chinese thought. All oh, right. Are these sort of Game of Thrones style uh, dragons? These are meaner. They, oh, meaner. These are meaner. And um, it, this is. Um, uh, Things get out of control very quickly, and there's a lot of running, screaming, and people's heads getting bitten. Oh. Right. Mm. Now, I'm no expert on world affairs, but I believe the Chinese don't like to be criticised in any way, shape, or form. Are yeah. you slightly critical of the Chinese in the book, and is that why you'll be banned? There, 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 yes. There, yeah, there are right. a few mentions. Um, and actually, you know, things like if you... I, I went to China in 2006 yep. and uh, as research for, for this and for another project, and what you find is if you Google Tiananmen Square in China... You'll only get tourist information is about that, the square. Yeah. If, yes. if you, no, right. if you Google amazing. Tank Man, you know, the guy who stood in front yes. of the line yeah. of tanks, yes. you'll just get some pictures of a tanks. Man in a tank. And, yeah. and, and the old man. <laughs> yeah, right. and, and so these are the things that, that I do mention. And yeah. funnily enough, even in the few book signings I've done for Great Zoo of China, I've had a lot of expat Chinese coming along to the, the signings. Tell me oh, about, okay. tell me about um, though, <laughs> because, I mean, you write this book about China. Surely you're printed in Chinese is one of your many uh, languages, so you're not just selling yourself short of a few sales. <laughs> hey, well, Bridge, you're actually right on the money there. Books in China are very big on mobile phones. I've only had one book published in China, and that was Ice Station. Yeah. And to show China's respect for intellectual property, they whacked the World War II movie poster of the Nicolas Cage movie Wind Talkers on the cover. <laughs> so I, I actually have Nicolas Cage on the Ice Station cover, oh, and funny. I never saw a cent of royalty, so I don't think I'm missing out on anything. Right. In China. Oh, How, Matthew, do you keep... I mean, you've written a lot of books, and as we've said, you've been very successful over the years. Do you keep track of the hours it takes to write a book? Because I imagine they're all different. Mm. Um, or do you just you just get to work and when it's done, it's done? You know, I don't think of the hours, but it takes a fraction over a year right, to, okay. to write one. 
That's yeah. interesting because I was talking to the author of the Rosie Project, Graham Simpson. Yeah. And he said he took five years yeah. to write that, and he yeah. sits down every day at ten o'clock yeah. and writes. He had to set himself serious. I, I've I've met Graham a couple of times. Mm. He's a really nice fellow. He, yeah. He's a very regimented man. Mm. I, I'm more of a mm. if I'm not in the mood, I'll go and play golf, right. and then I'll by the afternoon I'll be in the mood again. Play golf or go and drive your DeLorean car. <laughs> the the uh, the DeLorean. Uh, actually, I was driving it the other day. I drove it to the. Uh, the first book signing uh, yeah. for this one, <laughs> and people were waiting out the back of the. It was at a, it was at a movie cinema. People were waiting for. They love the D. Mm. The yeah. D is great. Well, can, you, can you park a DeLorean wherever you want? I just get the feeling that you could park that anywhere and people would be fine with it. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. And great. P- police, uh, police give you lots of latitude with the DeLorean <laughs> too. They, they pull you. Out. I once got pulled over for a breath test, uh, which I passed, and. Yeah. Um, and they said, is that a DeLorean? <laughs> and all the cops start looking at the car. <laughs> yeah, they look at the doors. Yeah, oh. Very nice. And you mentioned, do the golf clubs fit in the back of the DeLorean? Uh, they fit in the passenger seat. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, that's the joy nice. of writing yeah. lots of books you get to buy a DeLorean. Yeah. Uh, Matthew, this looks fantastic. The Great Zoo of China. And if you haven't read Matthew Riley's books, get on board because they're absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, good luck with getting into China anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thank you.